we're in the Sermon on the Mount, and at the very end, uh, the teaching stops, and there's this, I, I feel like there's this sense of like, what did we just experience? <laughs> like, that was unlike anything that we've ever seen before. Uh, and of course, it's, it's the Savior teaching. So I want to kind of revisit like how he taught, what are some of the things he taught? Why, were the, why was there this sense of astonishment among those who saw him teach? Yeah, I think it's a good question. And I think sometimes the ways we think about Jesus or the difference in language can get in the way. And we don't understand what a, what a vivid live teacher he is till we stop and think. So actually my first book was a novelization of the story in the gospels, right? Putting it in scene. And one thing I'd hear from people uh, after they read it was, I didn't realize Jesus was so funny, right? <laughs> Why'd you make him so funny? And I said, it's all right here. <laughs> okay. And, and to give just an example, if you didn't know these teachings before and you looked at Matthew chapter seven, um, verses three to four. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Um, and, and then, or wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the mote out of thine own eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye. You hear that, the language is older, it kind of goes past, but if you imagine Jesus just grabbing a piece of wood, <laughs> right, and looking like this and say, oh wait, I think there's a speck of dust here. Let me, <laughs> let me help you with that. Oh, Ben, I have noticed something about you and I'd like to have a discussion about your short sightedness. I think you have a problem. Do you want to take care of that? Absolutely. It's a great visual of how silly that would be. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Silly, but vivid and extreme, Absolutely. right? And you would leave that going. Oh man, is this one of those moments again? Talks about hypocrisy a lot, right? And we think now that has an everyday meaning to us mm -hmm. because it's been used so much from Jesus, right? At the time, a hypocrite meant an actor, okay. right? Like that was somebody's job was to go up and be a hypocrite, right? <laughs> it's, a, it's a performer. So if you think of Jesus saying, you know, sometimes, sometimes some of you have seen you giving charity and you got the mask on <laughs> and you read from the script and you make sure everyone can hear what a great person you are, right? Mm -hmm. It's this vivid way. And then I just imagine Jesus sometimes getting serious and saying, take this mask and put it down. No more script, right? But when you see some, see their needs, mm -hmm. speak to them. Don't worry about everybody else. Mm 